Hey guys, Kira Kenny here with another unboxing video from Loot Crate. Now, a lot of people didn't exactly comment and let me know whether they liked it or not, but it got a decent amount of views with my last unboxing video, so I figured, hey, let's try it again. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, this month's theme is actually covert, meaning there's a lot of spy themes in here. Uh, from what I heard, there's going to be a, an exclusive replica prop from the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, I don't know about if you know this, but I love me some Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I uh, wasn't a big fan of the first season, but I kind of started turning around right around the end, right around the, the time the Winter Soldier stuff started happening. And I was definitely into Agent Carter, so if there's something Agent Carter related in here, that'll be a plus. Uh, so, without any further ado, I have a pair of scissors now, because it was a pain in the butt to open it last month without uh, anything sharp. So, we're going to open up the seal, and let's take a look. Uh, well, there is a t-shirt this month. <laughs> it is what looks like a James Bond t-shirt. That is awesome. <laughs> this is stirred. <laughs> Yeah, you got the wrong martini there. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, we've got here. Ah, oh, it's a wristwatch that has its own. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a pain to set the time, but it's a digital wristwatch. You have to tap here, and it shows you the time. Again, I'm gonna have to fix that time, but that is really cool. Might not use it. Might give it to my little brother, but. Uh, Oh, this is the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, exclusive prop. So, let's open her up and see what we got. Oh, nice! Certificate of Authenticity. It is an official S.H.I.E.L.D. agent badge. And they've got the lanyard for it, too. This is really awesome. <laughs> I might actually have to use it as a prop of my show. Uh, I've got a journal, also known as Field Notes. Oh, there's two of them. One's a, gra one's a graph paper, one is actual lined paper. Of course, we've got the button for the month. Once again, the theme is covert, focusing on spies and, you know, all that fun stuff. Spy Mad Libs. <laughs> oh, God, I, I love actually playing with Mad Libs. I haven't done it in a while, but, you know, Mad Libs is always something really fun to play. You just uh, For those of you who don't know, Mad Libs is a game where you take a sentence and you have to put in random words, um, like a plural or a noun, and you can tell, you can make a... A cool story seemed really funny. Uh, free digital download of Ninjak number one, a Loot Crate exclusive comic. So uh, my dad's actually really in the comic, so I might give this one to him. Loot Crate paracord. I don't know what paracord. Apparently, there's a paracord survival bracelet here. Uh. Ah. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it can be used as a tourniquet, a snare, a fishing line. So it's like a survival thing. Um. Again, my dad's really big into hiking, so I might give this to him. And uh, of course, we've got this month's issue of Loot Crate magazine. It goes over everything that's inside here. Of course, you've got the people who submitted their pictures for the looters uh, section. Because I didn't, I didn't specify this before, but to get into the looter section, you have to submit a picture of you with whatever items you got uh, to Loot Crate's Twitter. Uh, it's got uh, it's got a little uh, article on Austin Powers and Metal Gear. Talks about this month's Mega Crate, which gets you a Razer laptop, sorry, a Razer Blade laptop, a gaming monitor, and a smartwatch from Motorola. That's cool. And of course, it goes over everything else you get: the uh, the shield badge, the Mad Libs thing. But it also comes with what looks like 
something related to Orphan Black. Not not a big fan of the show, but you know, obviously they would include that if it's spy related. This is, oh, it's an Orphan Black comic book. Nice, okay. Uh, yeah, one of the things they sometimes include with these are exclusive Loot Crate comics. So I might actually have to read this. And then um, the box usually gets some kind of really cool decoration. This month, it's made to look like a laptop. Last month it was a board game that I never really played. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for this month's Loot Crate. Gonna close up the box because I'm probably not gonna keep it. But uh, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at KiraKendiHNR. I'm also on Tumblr at KiraKendiHNR.tumblr.com and Facebook at KiraKennedy. Uh, sorry, facebookcom reviews. I don't know why I always screw that up. <clears throat> if you guys also want to check out more of my past videos, you can do so on YouTube.com at youtubecom kennedy youtubecom KiraKennedyHNR. And Vimeo.com slash Kira Kennedy, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will fix it up in a little uh, subtitle right about here. And of course, as always, you can check out all of my videos on peanutbutterdisaster.com. And while you're there, hey, why not check out my buddy Jake Salvage? He does a video review series called VHXS that takes a look at all kinds of obscure uh, videotape movies. I'm not sure if you remember this. But there was a time where before you had DVDs, they came on. Hang on, I'm going to show you a cop, what a VHS looks like. <clears throat> As I was saying, there was a time before the DVD where, where movies used to come and be able to be watched at home on something like this. This, my friends, is a video cassette. And Jake Salvage takes a look at all kinds of really obscure movie reviews. All kinds of really obscure movies that were only released on VHS. Movies like Who's the Man, which is actually based off of an MTV show. I did not know this before that, but I did learn thanks to watching this show. So, until next time, I'm Kira Kennedy, and thank you guys for watching. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>